What's going on, friends? Sam Predis here back once again. Now, Fibron from Polymaker have just brought out a brand new filament type. It's ASA CF08, which is carbon fiber that's chopped up into ASA style filament. Now, there is some perils and pitfalls to printing this. There's VOCs, various other things that you've got to be aware of before printing this particular material. But one of the cool things about it is that it now comes in six different colors, which includes this stunning navy blue color, also black, but also light gray, dark gray, sand and dark red. But that's not all. I have been using the Bamboo Lab H2S, which also comes out today. It's almost like it was planned, right? But I have been using this filament on a project that we're gonna be bringing out for Form Next in November. And I've been printing wildly with this for the past couple of weeks. So maybe I'm the best person to talk about it. Who knows? Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. So let's start at the very beginning. What is ASA CF08 and well, what is it used for? So the technical aspect of this is probably the pronunciation, acrylonitrine, butadiene, styrene. Let's just keep it as ASA for the remainder of the video. ASA is a 3D printing material that's often compared to ABS, but along with some key improvements, such as UV and weather resistance, so it doesn't yellow or degrade as quickly. It also has high impact strength, meaning that it's tough and durable and suitable for parts that need to withstand mechanical stress. On top of that, it has excellent temperature resistance without deforming. It also has good resistance to many chemicals, making it great for industrial use. And my favorite, of course, is the surface finish, as it looks pretty seamless and more of a formed part over a printed one. The CF in this filament stands for carbon fiber, and in this case, Polymaker have added around 8% carbon fiber, which boosts dimensional stability, print reliability, and overall mechanical performance. Think of it as an upgrade to regular ASA. It helps reduce warping, supports larger part printing, and gives that nice matte surface finish. And the best part is it still keeps the ASA's excellent outdoor durability. For the fiber on filament, I found that the default H2S bamboo filament settings work just fine. ASA prints really well on enclosed machines with or without a heated chamber. The H2S has handled the fiber on filaments really well so far, with little to no noticeable shrinkage. The print speeds here are anywhere from 30 millimeters per second to 350 millimeters per second. But one thing to keep in mind is ASA is a styrene based material, so it does release VOCs. This can mean headache, irritation, or worse with longer exposure. The H2S does a really good job at filtering fumes, but the smell is still there. So just make sure that you print it in a well-ventilated area and take the proper precautions. Whether you're a hobbyist, a student, or a pro engineer, PCBWay.com has you covered. From simple two-layer boards to complex multi-layer designs, they offer high-quality PCBs with fast turnaround and competitive pricing. Plus, their assembly service and 3D printing options make them the one-stop shop for makers. So visit PCBWay.com and turn your ideas into reality. Thank you once again to PCBWay for sponsoring this channel. So back on the print side. I'm working on a project where Fibron really takes center stage. Mostly for this build, I'm using PETG CF08, which is that added 8% carbon fiber for strength and durability. For this project, well, toughness is key. So mixing Polymaker's new ASA color range really made perfect sense. For example, I've used PETG CF on the side plates while I've used the navy blue ASA, which has handled the design accents and even connected an eight millimeter motor coupler. To keep that core strength consistent, I also mixed in two ASA colors, not because it changes the performance, but because the contrast just looks great. This build has certainly been an interesting one, and if it has piqued your interest, make sure you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, I was on Maker World the other day and I found this. Yes, it's a power strip management clamp. So I loaded it up into my slicer, inserted the Polymaker ASA filament and well, printed it out. And I have to say that mistakes were made and I'll let you know exactly what they were shortly. But printing, well, it came out really well and I expect it would make an excellent clamp. I used the Navy ASA on the main frame and then the black ASA on the accent parts along with the screw. Now, of course, the print was nice, but the weird orientation of the print did leave a small amount of overhang overlap, which actually wasn't the worst thing. The first problem was the bench. It only had one possible mounting point, but it did fit on one corner. The bigger issue came along when I attempted to mount the UK extension lead, and it turns out that it's for a smaller US size. So I guess it would be better if I just checked it before I printed it. Never mind. So slightly disappointing there on the clamp side. It sort of is the story of my life. 
but that's how it goes. But these carbon fiber filaments are awesome. Again, the VOCs are something that you are going to have to be concerned about, making sure you've got correct ventilation in your room that you're printing in. Luckily for me, I have. Now then, the other thing is gonna be on this table. I'm really excited, I had to print this. So this is being designed at the moment. I'm making some modifications as I go along because there are some things here that I don't like, but I think we can maybe try and improve upon. But again, this is all printed in Polymaker carbon fiber filament, PETG to be exact. All of those links, of course, will be down in the description below. You can obviously continue the conversation over on my Discord channel. Again, links will be down in the description. Guys, I've got to be honest, this is awesome, and I love this filament. So thank you very much to Polymaker once again for sending me some stuff. Um, absolutely brilliant. Let me know again what you think about all this stuff in the comments below. We will see you next time. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.